what's everyone I am Lord Z and today I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks in this game and I want to let you know that this tips works for every everybody so without further ado let's begin don't get too close to the walls I know how this should be basic knowledge but I've seen a lot of newbies and experienced players doing the same mistake which is getting close to the walls not a good idea since the ghost could glitch out from the wall killing you behind so next time when you're near a wall make sure not to get close to it keep your distance from the wall know the maps I highly suggest you to explore all maps and try to understand the downsides of each map this would be really useful for you as this would allow you to run loop the ghost during a hunt which of course requires you to have the right amount of map awareness you can have your own escape routes as well and you won't have to worry about getting lost knowing your escape routes always leave the door open for your escape routes this would give you a chance to run away with less hassle increasing your chances of survivability or you can run around like this But you have to keep in mind that running away will not work all the time if you're dealing with ghosts like Wendigo or Pyrrhin but more frequently than not you can manage to outrun them you just have to be a bit clever or you can bring a crucifix with you just in case if you screw up communicate all the time even the most experienced players fail to do this you should be communicating with your team as some evidence would never appear or it will only show itself once like worms and EMF5s, especially when the game is bugging out. You wouldn't really be able to get any solid evidence, and this would leave you and your team completely puzzled, as all of you cannot get to identify the ghost. To avoid this mishap, you should keep communicating with your team or do some objectives for them, and help them help you win. You have to keep in mind that their victory is also your victory, so be nice to them and try to keep a friendly atmosphere. Don't play the game when you're exhausted. When you're too tired, when you're too stressed, this would affect your gaming performance, making you less efficient when it comes to identifying goals, and it makes you more susceptible to making dumb and reckless decisions, so it's better to have your mind refreshed before playing the game again. Otherwise, this could make you fail miserably. Door camping. This is what you need to do when completing this tricky task. Stand near the entrance door and be in the right position like this. Make the door push you back outside. This would be your instant safe zone when losing your sanity for the task. When the ghost begins to hunt, the door would push you back outside and at this instance, you are completely safe. Just stay away from the door. Take advantage of any in-game glitches, because they can give you the upper hand on any situation. Make sure to use them well before the game developers might do something about it. Use glitches to your advantage if you know any of them, like this. Observe the ghost's behavior to identify them. As I previously said, you could not see proofs all the time. The game might be bugging out, giving you little to no evidence. At this point, you have no other choice but to guess the ghost. If you couldn't see any single proof, you need to understand how each ghost behaves and what makes them dangerous. You need to identify them by trying to read and understand what they do. Take for example, if the ghost is really shy and if it doesn't give out any proofs, there's a higher possibility that it's a shade. Mm -hmm. 